Did you know that we had a Chief Justice of India who did not possess a law degree? Even though it sounds quite unusual, that has indeed been the case. Justice Kailas Nath Vanchu, who served as the 10th Chief Justice of India, bears the distinction of being the only non-lawyer and the only officer of the Indian Civil Service to serve as the Chief Justice of India. Justice Vanchu was born on February 25, 1903 in Madhya Pradesh and was the first judge in his family. After passing the ICS exams, that is the Indian Civil Service Examination in the year 1924, he went to the United Kingdom to complete his two-year training program. Although Justice Vanchu was not a lawyer by education, his initial legal knowledge stemmed from the criminal law taught during his ICS training sessions. Thereafter, in the year 1926, he returned to India and was first stationed in the United Provinces, that is the modern-day Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, as an assistant magistrate and collector. So, how did Justice Vanchu get appointed as the Chief Justice of India? Interestingly, on April 11, 1967, the then CGI K. Subharao abruptly resigned to run for the President of India. As a result, Justice Vanchu came to be appointed as the Chief Justice of India on April 24, 1967. He would serve in the position for only 10 months, eventually retiring on February 24, 1968. While at the Supreme Court of India, Justice Vanchu authored 355 judgments and sat on 1,286 benches. He primarily adjudicated upon cases related to labor law, constitution law and property law. Justice Vanchu was succeeded by Justice Muhammad Hidyatullah on February 25, 1968. Now let's have a look at some of his notable judgments. In the landmark case of I.C. Golaknath was the state of Punjab, 1967, Justice Vanchu had delivered a dissenting opinion. In Golaknath, the Supreme Court had ruled that the Parliament did not have the power to amend Part 3 of the Constitution, which envisages the fundamental rights. In his dissent, Justice Vanchu highlighted that the Parliament has the power to amend all parts of the Constitution. Golaknath was subsequently overruled in the landmark judgment of the Supreme Court in the case of Keshavananda Bharti versus the state of Kerala. The next noteworthy judgment is the case of General Manager Southern Railways versus Rangachari 1961, wherein the Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of reservations in promotions provided under Article 16, Clause 4a of the Constitution. Justice Vanchu again delivered a dissenting opinion here as well, where he emphasized that reservations and promotions cannot nullify the equality of opportunity guaranteed to citizens under Article 16 of the Constitution. Justice Vanchu was also part of the bench that delivered the judgment in the case of K. Chinnaswamy Reddy was a state of Andhra Pradesh. It is a 1963 judgment wherein the Supreme Court of India had discussed the scope of revisional jurisdiction of the High Court and admissibility of evidence under Section 27 of the Evidence Act and had accordingly observed that under Section 27, where the statement distinctly relates to the discovery, it will be admissible whether it amounts to a confession or not. Next, in the case of Mahindra Lal Jaini was the state of Uttar Pradesh, it is a 1963 judgment. The Supreme Court had held that the UP Land Tenures Regulations and Transfer Act of 1952 to be unconstitutional as it did not comply with Article 13, Clause 2 of the Constitution as it stood at the time the Act was passed. After the Constitution Fourth Amendment Act, which came in force much later, a stand was taken on behalf of the state that the Act, which had been held to be unconstitutional, will be deemed to have been revived after the Constitution Fourth Amendment Act. It was also held that the Act in question being a post-Constitution Act will be governed by Article 13, Clause 2 of the Constitution as it did not revive on the principle of doctrine of eclipse. Thank you. Hope you found this trivia interesting. I'm Aratrika Bhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.